I'm going to show you how to put two pictures together to make one. Many times when we make our level guides and using the scrolling charm, we find that the whole layout is not shown in one picture, but that we have to take a second picture and have Petra splice them together. Um, I have found a way to do this in the paint program. I do not know if you'll be able to find a way to do it in the Photoshop program. Please let me know if it doesn't work there or if you can't figure out a way to do it there. This is Eternal Isles 6-9. I've just done this recently, so I already know that it needs two pictures. So I go ahead and go through the regular process with you. But I'm going to take a few shortcuts. We get a picture of the ceiling. We go to paint. <clears throat> we paste it in. And I'm going to go ahead and save this as, um, I'm going to do this really simple so I can find it again. That's what I had trouble with my last. We're going to put this 6-9 top. <clears throat> as you see, when you scroll down the picture, it does not show the bottom part. So, basically all you want to do, you, you know, you can stop everything right, right now and work on this picture. Your, picture. your game will be waiting for you when you go back. So, what you need to do is just crop out the white part on the outside. You don't want to crop close in because that will make, make it more difficult for us to put the pictures together. And just put it right about there. And just crop that out. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll try that again. And crop. Now, we can go ahead and mark our obstacles or extra bubbles at the top. Stay away from the bottom section. You'll do the same when you do your second half because it'll be more difficult to match up um, due to resizing problems. So I'll go ahead and mark these pictures, mark this particular picture with diagrams, and I'll get right back to you. Okay, I've put in my initial diagrams into this top photograph. I have not marked the crystals in that I have here because they extend above and below our line of vision. And I'll mark them after we join them. I didn't put the locks in either or the lines, oh I forgot this one line, or the lines in either because of, um, you know, I wasn't sure, not sure how the matchup will be and we can add our additional um, markings as we need to. So the next thing we need to do is resize this to 500 pixels. And save it. Now we go to our, back to our game, and we just take a, uh, a screen pick of the first frame, go back into paint, paste, save, this will be EI6 bottom, EI69 bottom, excuse me. And we now have that picture, and we're going to do the same thing. Make sure when you crop this picture that you crop the brown out of the top because that will interfere with our um, meshing the pictures together, as I have found. So I've practiced with this a few times. Actually, I've done it several times now. And this is the method that I find works the best for me. And see, I didn't get all of that line out. Because I've got, remember, I've got excess at the beginning, so, at the top, so, um, if I need to pull it down, I will. But having that brown in there really creates a problem. Okay, so we'll crop this one, and we'll go ahead and, and label it. <coughs>
because we already know this is going to be our first picture. Now, as I said before, normally you can you can mark things down below, but because these crystals extend from the bottom to the top, I'm not going to mark them. And because we're close to the line of vision, I'm not going to mark the locks or these black bubbles in between. What I do do is I do take make a little mark at the very top of the screen showing my line of vision. I do that on the outside so that most of that will be cropped when we put the pictures together. And that also helps with lining things up. So this is ready and we now need to resize this to 500 pixels. and save. Now let's pull up the last one we just did. You need to have your top picture first. In order to connect them, I have found. So this is our first picture that we did. Underneath paste, the word paste, there's a little arrow. Click on that and it'll say paste from. We click on that. Oh, can't do that yet. Before we add the bottom picture, we have to extend this screen as such. And that's where our bottom picture will go. Then we always go up to this paste from, and we'll write EI69 <coughs> top, bottom, excuse me, bottom and the picture appears on top of the other one. So now we just pull it down and we do our best to line it up. Okay, so there's the locks. The line of vision is two bubbles above the locks. We're getting close, real close, right about here. Sometimes they'll match up perfectly, sometimes they'll be off just a little bit. Try to do the best you can. A lot of times when you draw in that line of vision, it will um, obscure this if they're off a little bit. So as you can see, I can match it up on one side and not the other. Ah, this is the part that's painstaking. There, but see, it doesn't match on the other. So we're gonna make it a little askew on both sides, I think. and do the best we can with that. They just don't match up perfect. Sometimes they match up really easily and sometimes they don't. And a lot of that has to do with your cropping, which is why I recommend that you crop on the outsides. It makes life much easier. And I think this is just about as close as we're going to get it. And click somewhere here click there now before I make any additional markings I need to blow this up again because when we draw in a line let me give you an idea here so you can see when I draw in a line now because it's been reduced it is much thicker than the lines that are already in there because I've had it made into a smaller picture so <clears throat> I'm just trying basically to make it more similar and not as noticeable. What I do is I increase it to 750 pixels and that gives me a little bit bigger picture to work with. It's a little fuzzy when you do this, but when you, when you take it back to the, um, to the 500 pixels, that will correct itself. So we'll put it in our line of vision. I'll do that first because we already know it's right here. There's our little white line. It's above these bubbles. And see how nice that takes away our imperfection. And when we crop it further, that'll be gone. Okay, now I'll finish my, making my markings on this and I'll show you how we continue. Okay, I've made all my markings now. The pictures together, I have my line of vision. I've got all my things that were close to the center marked. And I'll check it. And sure enough, my label's on the bottom. 
we go back and resize it again to 500 pixels. Now we can see the whole entire picture together and we're going to make one final crop to get this outside portion off because we just don't need it. Well, my poles are off a little bit. They match on one side but not quite the other. I might be able to fix that with my cropping. Let's see. I didn't save it after, so it went back. Here we go, save. All right, now, cropping again. I'm going to crop right here. I'll get rid of some of my imperfections as well. And there's our picture finalized. And that's in good shape. Now, it's not quite <coughs> 500 pixels. But that's all right, because it's a layout shot. And a lot of times she has to make them smaller anyways, because it's much longer. So that's basically all there is to it. You just make sure that it is saved. Um, normally I would, and I should have mentioned this before, before I saved it in this format, is that I would go up here and put save as uh, EI69A, so that I still have my top and bottom portions free for me to use that I want to use them in the future. Now, when you pull up um, EI69A or EI69 bottom, you're going to get in, you'll get the picture here as well. But anyways, then I go back and I change the one that says bottom to EI69A uh, EI and I delete the one that says top. And then when I do my remaining pictures, when I go back to my game, I can label them accordingly, B, C, and so forth. So that's how I put them together. I hope that's helpful. Let me know um, how you do. Just play around with it. Another level you can play with is uh, 55. I did that, that one recently. And so those are two levels you can work with and see um, how you do with splicing. Good luck.